New tonight, two parents of Parkland victims continuing their crusade for change inside our schools. One was just appointed to the State Board of Education. The other already a Broward School Board member fighting today for a law in her daughter's name. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live at Broward School Board headquarters with details for us. Carrie? Elliot Rudebay, that law is called Alyssa's Law, and if it's passed, and today it took a major step forward in Tallahassee, it would bring panic alarms to Broward County Public Schools as well as other school districts across the state. Alyssa is the heartbeat of this vital piece of legislation. That's Broward School Board member Lori Olidev talking about her daughter Alyssa, one of the 17 victims of the Parkland shooting. Olidev stood before a state house education subcommittee Tuesday to push for passage of Alyssa's law. It's a law that will put a panic alarm, most likely through a cell phone app like this one, in the hands of teachers and school administrators across Florida, allowing them to directly contact law enforcement in the face of a threat. Time equals life. The faster we can get law enforcement and emergency medical services on campus, the more likely we will save lives. Olive said the bill passed the subcommittee unanimously. We are so excited that Alyssa Law is moving through the committees in the House and the Senate side. It's been a long journey for Olive since the Parkland shooting, and now the bill she's advocated for is one step closer to passage. Ryan Petty, father of Elena Petty, another Parkland victim, said safety is paramount. Anything we can do to to reduce the response time uh, for those first responders that are coming to either stop the assailant, stop the attack, or render aid is a good thing. Petty is becoming a leading voice on education in Florida. He serves on the MSD Commission examining all aspects of the Parkland shooting. On Tuesday, Governor Ron DeSantis appointed Petty to the State Board of Education. The Senate will need to confirm him. We have some big problems we need to solve, and I, you know, I look forward to rolling up my sleeves, digging in, and figuring out how I can contribute to that. Lori Olidev knows nothing can bring back her daughter, but she believes panic alarms could save lives in the future and could have saved lives at MSD on that tragic day by alerting people on the third floor of the freshman building of the active threat. The people on the third floor, they would have been able to hide in their classroom, and it would have saved lives. Alyssa's law still has to clear several subcommittees before possibly heading to the full House and Senate for a vote. It is already on the books in New Jersey. There's pending legislation in New York and also pending federal legislation as well. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Carrie, thank you for that.